This video is sponsored by Noragon, the commercial vehicle data experts. Visit noragon.com to learn more. The industry has been buzzing about autonomous trucking for years, but we've never seen so much concrete proof that this ambitious concept is on the way than we have so far in 2024. In May, Daimler Truck announced an autonomous Freightliner eCascadia technology demonstrator, combining battery electric drive and integrated autonomous driving technology into one truck. The truck is based on a production BEV Freightliner eCascadia and is equipped with autonomous driving software from Torque Robotics and Level 4 sensor and compute technology. Later in that same month, Volvo introduced its first ever autonomous truck, built on the new VNL and developed with Aurora. Autonomous trucks are being tested in states from Texas to Pennsylvania, with driverless routes racking up thousands and thousands of miles. But there are a lot, and I mean a lot, more steps to go before we'll see autonomous trucks on our roadways. There's the question of regulation. We don't know what kind of regulations there will be on autonomous trucks or cars, because no one's ever had to regulate autonomous vehicles before. There's also the question of public acceptance. Part of the appeal of autonomous vehicles is the idea that they will get into fewer accidents thanks to the lack of human error. But as we've seen with some incidents involving autonomous cars, the public is far less trusting of mistakes made by machines than those by humans, which we're used to. So what's next for autonomous trucks and where do we stand? For answers to those questions, I talked to Andrew Cullane, Chief Commercial Officer at Torque Robotics at the recent ACT Expo. See why he says 2027 is the date they've circled for bringing autonomous trucks to market and why the hard work comes in the next three years leading up to that. So we're sitting in front of our diesel sleeper, which is our primary go-to-market truck, uh, and really focusing on that long haul, over the road, middle mile piece of freight. Uh, what we announced uh, with Daimler recently, uh, sitting just across the aisleway here, is the autonomous electric demonstrator uh, that's on a day cab. And really the key points from that, from the technology side, is highlighting that we really developed the world's best truck driver and it can drive any truck, whether it's a day cab or a sleeper and any powertrain, whether it's again, diesel, electric, or in the future, even fuel cell. And so really what that work on our side is to prove that future scalability. To the current product and what we're working to get to market is really focused on that autonomous long haul piece. Mm -hmm. So think long haul, interstate, and kind of that hub to hub or fixed point to fixed point model really unlocking a lot of potential to allow fleets to focus much more on first and final mile, much more on getting better access to their customers and really automating that middle stretch. Yeah. I know you've been running a lot of uh, test routes with the, uh, with the driver. Is those the kind of routes that it's been running mostly? Absolutely, yeah. So we test uh, in a kind of a variety of situations and testing and product development is all about finding those challenging scenarios. So whether we're seeing them and testing them over the road, whether we're relying on level two data to help build up those databases and, and all kinds of ways in between to help figure out everything that this product needs to handle going over the road and candidly drive as well as the best truck drivers do today. And so we do a lot of testing in, in various places, including our facility out of Albuquerque on I-40, uh, doing some work in Texas now as well and building out that route network. But again, very much interstate focused. Okay. So now that the system is in you know, a truck, we can see it, we know it's here. Yeah. Um, what are the next steps in terms of bringing this more to, uh, to a larger scale? Yeah, so we've always said, you know, our commercial launch will get to SOPs in 2027. Um, so now till then, it's, it's that really hard work of coming out of getting all the R&D done and really building into that productization. So that's building all of the redundancy. And so the chassis you see here are actually the current generation. The next generation of chassis coming out of DTNA is actually gonna have all the redundancy built in. And we have those on the road today, uh, it's just on a not released truck yet, so we don't have it out yet. Um, so that's all your redundant steering, braking, power, communications, all of that as the foundation. And then building on top of that, all the autonomy. So you see the sensors, so the LiDAR, radar, cameras, and compute, everything on here. And really continuing to build that out, harden it, because the reality is there's a big difference between a demonstrator and a product. Uh, and that product has to have all of that safety, the reliability, the maintainability, all those things that a fleet thinks about today with every asset they buy, we have to build that into our product as well. Um, well, I think that's all I had to ask, so thanks so much for uh, taking the time. Awesome, thanks for stopping by. Yeah.